everyone, I'm Meredith and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so excited that you found me and if you're returning, I'm so grateful you've decided to come back and watch more. I love all things luxury. I love luxury shoes, luxury handbags, luxury lifestyle and vlogging and if they're things that appeal to you, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button down below and join me here. I am trying desperately to get to 5,000 subscribers by Christmas. It is my Christmas wish. So if you could hit that subscribe button, I would be so incredibly grateful. We are continuing on with Collectionmas today. So Collectionmas, 24 collections in 24 days. Each collection is one that is in my fairly vast collection of handbags I have. So um, yes, we are continuing on with that. And today, because I am about to head off to the Fendi Client Appreciation Dinner in Sydney, that's why I'm all dressed up in my sparkles, um, I thought why not do a quick video around my Fendi peekaboos before I get going. So you can see I've got my peekaboos up behind me. It's not one of my biggest collections and I honestly questioned whether or not I was going to do my peekaboos for um, Collectionmas, but uh, it's about on par with some of my Louis Vuitton ones that I'm doing so I thought why not show you all my peekaboos. Um, in terms of Fendi bags it's probably my least favorite. Sorry Dale. <laughs> um, the Fendi first will always be my first love and that's followed by the baguette um, but yeah the peekaboo comes after that so I will always choose a Fendi first first um, and then a baguette and then I will look at the peekaboos. So let's talk about the peekaboos I have. So this was my first one. This is a peekaboo mini and it is in like a cream color and it's a smooth leather. And it is like all peekaboos. It has the turn locks on either side so you can do them up. And so we go turn and they can look like this. You can open them up and leave them open so they're a bit more slouchy and you can open the sides to give you even greater access. Is that going to focus? Focus. Yes, there you go. Um, so they come with the top handle and two compartments. So one at the front, one at the back. They also come with a strap. So you can see, oh, that's my strap there. Same color as the bag. And the inside of mine is almost like, it's like a suede almost in the Zucker print in there. There is a zipper compartment in one section and a slip pocket in the other. I don't mind the mini sizes. This was my first one. Um, and I actually talked to Dale when she was here the other day about this might actually be one that I sell in the new year. It's beautiful, but it's a little boring. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I love color. Like I really like color. And I don't know what I was thinking when I bought this. If I thought, oh, well, I should buy a neutral, so I'll grab a neutral. So I'm on the fence about this one at the moment. Let me know what you think. You, if, if you've watched Collection Miss this far, then you're probably getting a very good feel for my collection. Does it stay or does it go? Don't know. The peekaboos are easy ones for me to make decisions on because they aren't my first love. So yeah, but it was my first peekaboo. Um, and then from there, uh, I think this one came next. So this is a Sherling and it's in the Zucker print. It is also in the same mini size. And then all the detail is in um, black lambskin leather. So you can see the Sherling Zucker print there. And I like this one because it's all furry. It's a little bit different, which is me. Like I... I like the interesting, I like the color, I like the texture, I like the out there with my bags. I don't, I'm not looking for a whole heap of beige everyday bags. There's nothing wrong with that. If that's what brings you joy, go nuts. But for me, it's color and texture and sequins and fun things. I spend, you spend a lot of money on these bags. I want to have fun with mine. So yeah, I don't mind this one because it has the texture. Um, and this one, there's nothing interesting about it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so yes, this was my second one, my Sherling um, in the mini size. Uh, the strap for this is in plain black leather and I have the little raincoat. <laughs> so the peekaboos do, do come with the raincoats, which is very cute. To be fair, I've never used a raincoat in my life on any of my bags, even my Birkins. Um, if it's raining, I just don't take it out. <laughs> 
part. Um, if you get caught in a downpour, they're, they're, they would be super handy. I, I reckon it's a bit like, you know, those maps you used to get. For those of us who are old enough to remember when maps were on paper. Um, and you could never fold them back the same way. I feel like the, rain, the raincoats are probably like that. Once you take it out, are you ever getting it back in that little bag? Probably not. Um, and then I bought this one. So this is an original Nano. So you can see it's in this wool. It's a fabric. Um, but it's got this soft leather handle on it. Um, and it also has the um, ring on the back so you can attach it to another bag. So these were the first ones that they did. And I don't even know if they still do these because we've transitioned to new ones. So if I take this out. So it does have the strap that goes on it, which is adjustable. So it's fully adjustable. It's got little thing on it. Um, it will go cross body. Oops. And you can see it's a decent amount of space in there. Like in terms of a nano bag, it's not too bad. It has press studs on either side. So that gives you greater access to it. So you can actually get stuff in it. So it's not a bad design. Um, and I like this one. I don't have a problem with it. But then we move to these ones up here, which we'll get to in a minute. So I don't see a lot of these anymore. And I'm really not sure if they're doing them anymore. So something to think about. Um, are they actually doing them? So that's that one. Let's put you back up there. And then I got this one. <laughs> this color is a recurring color in my collect my Fendi collection. This was the spring summer 2022 fuchsia color they did and I bought everything in this color pretty much. I loved this color and this is an ICU small. Um, and I really love it. I do actually really love this one. I love the structure of it. I love the size of it. Um, I love um, these sharp edges. I really love this one. So I did consider a, a medium at one point. I was going to get the denim in the medium when it came out in fall winter 2022, but ultimately it was a smooth leather and I decided to go with the baguette instead, which was embossed. Um, but I love this one. This one isn't going anywhere. It's just beautiful. Um, and the strap is in the same pink, of course. And the inside is actually a beautiful blush pink color. So yeah, I, I don't mind this size. If I, I think if an interesting color came along or an interesting texture came along and I was looking at peekaboos, I would probably look at an ICU in the small. It's, it's my favorite design of them all. Um, so yeah, I think, I think if I was going to buy more because the color or the texture stroke to me, I'd go with this size over the other sizes. I, I can't explain why it's just something that I'm drawn to about this size. It's a really good size for day use. Um, and yeah, I just love this color. So beautiful. So that was my next one. And then from there, I went to New York <laughs> and while I was in New York, I picked up this one, this little green baby. And those of you who saw me unbox this got very upset because the back had a dent in it, which didn't worry me at the time because I knew this was going to happen. And you can see now it's in actual, absolutely perfect condition. So this is like a cushioned leather. So when I bought it home, it had been sitting on top of something else in my suitcase and it had indented the leather. Give it a little bit of time, pops right back out because it is cushioned leather. So that didn't concern me. And it concerned a lot of you, and I'm sorry that you were distressed by it, but I wasn't worried because I knew that the leather would bounce back. So this has the silver hardware, and it has... Um, oh, we're struggling to get some focus today, aren't we? Maybe it's all the sequins I'm wearing. Um, and this one, actually, um, the um, it comes off. <laughs> I'll get there in a minute. There we go. So you can undo the top like that and then you can attach it to another bag um, or a bit wherever you want to put it um, and you just do it back up. So it's a nifty little design and I do like it because it's got the, the metal handle on it. Um, it does come with a strap which does go cross body in the same color. So um, and it fits a decent amount in it um, and you can undo the gussets on the side to give it more space So these are cute little bags. I really like them as a nano. I think they're really really cute and I love this green This is Kermit the Frog green as far as I'm concerned. So that came from New York and so did this 
So this was from Fendachi. By the time I got to New York, Fendachi had been out for quite a while. I had sent my wish list ahead of time. There were a couple of Fendachi pieces on it that I managed to pick up. But I was walking through store, and this the store in New York, the flagship store, um, and I saw it on a shelf, and I was like, oh, wow, you still have that? And they were like, yeah, we, we still have it. So I bought it. <laughs> so this is white on one side and pink on the other. It is stunningly beautiful pink so the sides are both pink and then this side is white and it's got the cherubs on it so it's got the um, FF pattern all through the background and then the overlay in the gold or the yellow is the Versace of it so yeah it's just a beautiful beautiful bag so once again this is a mini um, and it's just got plain pink interior in it um, and the strap and of course, because it was a Fendachi piece, we got the Fendachi dust bag came with it. So yeah, different dust bag. Um, so this came all the way back from New York with me as well. Um, so yeah, picked up a few pieces. <laughs> and then the last one that I have bought is this one. And I bought this one in Brisbane. So when I went up to visit Dale the first time, um, we went to Fendi and they had this and they really wanted to show her and I let her look at it and she made the decision she wasn't going to buy it and I hadn't said that I was interested in it at all. And when she said she wasn't buying it, I said, I'll have that, thanks. <laughs> um, so I brought it home with me. So it's just in this beautiful blush pink, this Nano. It's got gold hardware on it. And I just love the pink. I thought it was super cute because, you know, me, pink, why not? <laughs> Um, so that was the last one that I bought. Do I see myself adding any more peekaboos to my collection? Probably, like, I would never say never. Like, if something came out, a, a certain colour, um, or a certain texture, and my only option was to get it in a peekaboo, and I just loved it, I would probably buy a peekaboo. I would be aiming for an ICU, because I like the structure of them. Um... So I'm not saying never, but they're certainly not a priority for me. I don't have the need to collect them. So I talk often about the fact that I'm a true collector and that generally is um, a sense or a feeling that you have. So certain pieces, I feel the need to collect lots of them. Like I love them so much, I collect them. Fendi First is like that, the Speedies, the Neverfulls, the Pochette Matisses, like I've got collections. Um, so I feel like, oh my goodness. And to give up one of those is a massive deal for me. These, I don't feel the need to collect. I'm not, I don't have that feeling in my chest of, oh my goodness, I need more. So I wouldn't say never, um, but they would be incredibly rare for me to unbox on my channel. They're not my first love. Um, so yeah, these are all my Fendi peekaboos. So I have, what, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got seven. Seven Fendi peekaboos. Not one of my biggest collections, but certainly a decent amount of Fendi peekaboos. Um, and I do like, um, well, I love all the ones I have. This one, I'm undecided about at this point. It's, it, it may well move on in January. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in what I might be moving on, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below because there's probably going to be a vlog sale coming at the end of January. Um, if you have liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. I would love to have you here. I will also throw up my handle for you so you can come follow me over on Instagram. I put lots up in real time, lots around my collection. I share stuff that sales associates send over to me. So please come follow me over on Instagram. I hope wherever you are in the world today, you are having a fabulous day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.